Good morning everyone, this is Bremster and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Yo-Yos by Naughty. Um, I don't really have much to say about this. Um, this is a puzzle that came into my queue, came through my queue, got tested and has been, has landed on my desk to record. That's kind of how this works. Um, either people submit or more frequently at the moment people recommend puzzles um, and if you come across a puzzle from basically anywhere that you think would be a good fit for my channel please send me a recommendation using my guidelines below um, it is a wonderful way for me to find out about puzzles I am so phenomenally busy right now that I don't really get much time to sort of go through and try puzzles and I don't like to do that anyway because the way I would find puzzles is by actually trying them and once I've done that I feel it's a bit weird to do it on the channel so then what I end up doing is trying to find someone else to solve it and often they've solved it as well and there's been some issues with that and some are in the queue for me to come back to after a couple of months that I found that way but um, it's really cool when people turn around and say, I found this really cool puzzle, you should have a look at it. And either I can reach out to the setter or it's even better if the person who recommends it does that um, and says, could would you do um, would you mind if you know I recommend your puzzle or maybe if it's someone that I've done before, I can do it already. Um, yeah, it's just a really good way for me to find out about really good puzzles. Anyway, let's have a look at Yo-Yos by Naughty. Um, yeah, so normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. We have these green German whisper lines. And what we know about those is adjacent digits on the line, however those would be connected, must have a difference of at least 5. Um, there'll be some rules about that or some tricks about those, which I'll get into when I'm solving the puzzle. Um, digits placed on an arrow must sum to the digit in that arrow circle. So the sum of those two digits will get placed there. The sum of those two digits will get placed there. That is the true for all of the arrows. Cell separated by an X must sum to 10. Not all X's are necessarily given. And cell separated by a white dot must be consecutive. Not all dots are necessarily given. Um, so that's what we know. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, the place where I'm really the place where I'm going to start is basically these German whisper lines because there's a few things we know about German whisper lines. I can immediately state that 5 is in those cells because you can never put 5 on a German whisper line. 5 high, the 5 difference means it's not possible. If I go down from 5 I hit 0 or less, up from 5 I hit 10 or higher. So, numbers on a German whisper state on a German whisper line will exist in one of two states, lower than five or higher than five. If they're lower than five, I can't go down. I'll leave the range of Sudoku digits. Going up, I will leapfrog the five to high. And if I start high, I can't go up. I have to go down and I will again leapfrog the five. So along this line, if this is state one, high or low, the ones next to it must be the other state and that will continue. So I can color this line. Um, I tend to use even, because green actually shows up on green. I've tested this in all of the different color blindness things and it actually seems to work. And then the ones that are connected to it must be the different color. So whichever way they're connected, this therefore must be green, this must be purple, this must be green, and the ones that are connected to it must all be purple. Now, is that actually telling me much? Now, the other important thing about German whisper lines is you can never put four or six on a line where the thing that it's connected to would be seen by two different digits or would be seen. Um, but like, for example, this couldn't be four or six, because if this was a four, the only thing five away from four is nine, and both of those would have to be nine and they see each other. So I suppose the question is, can I put four or six in any of those cells? I can't put it in those. If I put four there, yeah, I can't. If I put four there, both of those are nine. If I put there, four there, both of those are nine, and the same is true there. And the same would be true of six. Six here would mean both of those are one. Six here would mean both of those are one. Can't put six in either of those because the ones that they're connected to are in the same box. And the same is true here. Four and six would make both of those one or nine. So this is four, five, six. And down here, I'm assuming I've got the same thing. These are four, five, six, because here they're both seen, here they're both seen, here they're both seen, here they're both seen, in, in those they're both seen. So this is also four, five, and six. Now, on a consecutive dot, 
if this was four six, then they're not consecutive. So there must be a five on there. That's not five. The other way to think about it is on any consecutive dot, you must have one odd and one even digit because as you go up the digits, one odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and therefore, um, you will always have an odd and an even on a consecutive dot. Now, can I figure out more about these lines? Hang on, I've broken the puzzle already because I've got this coloring wrong. I've got this coloring wrong, but it is this four, five, six thing is still true because that, no, wait a minute. This is opposite. Yeah, this one is opposite. This So I've got this coloring here wrong. Okay, let's get rid of that. See, these lines where they do this sort of weird crossover can be messy. So let's do this again. This one is, op this one is, op hang on, this is opposite to green. So that is purple. This is green. Is that what I had? So what's going on? Yeah. This is purple. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. Oh, this one. That's the problem. Where I went wrong is here. So if I roll this back, this one is what's wrong. That is actually green. And this one is, uh, these are all wrong. So green, purple, purple, because that's connected to the green. This becomes green. This becomes green, this becomes purple, this becomes green. That is connected to those two, which become purple, and this one becomes green. There we go. Now, that's better. Now, What can I figure out about these lines? I know one of these is one, two, three. Now, wherever I put the three, it's gonna have eight, nine on either side of it. Is it this? Yeah, hang on, this X is important. Because this could be one nine, it could be two eight, it can't be three seven because three seven are too close to each other. And this is the same. This is one two eight nine. So three and seven are in those. But that means this is very confusing. Seven is in one of these and has to go next to one, two. And three is in one of these. So if seven is in one of these, so seven is there, this is a one, two pair. And if three is in one of these, this is an eight, nine pair. These are from one, two, eight, nine. And the same is going to be true down here. Because if this if blue is low, three is in here. And wherever three goes, if three is here, it's got to have eight and nine as the only thing it connect to. And these both see each other. So these would be eight nine. If three is on this side, this would be eight nine. Now if this is high, seven is in here, because I can't put seven there. So the seven would be in here, and the only thing it connect to it'd be one, two, and one, two would be here. So these are one, two, eight, nine. But the same is true down here. So these are one, two, eight, nine. which means these are actually more restricted. But surely this, because, I oh don't know, I could go three, four, seven. Which would mean this is six or five, and it could be five, three, two, and that would work. Okay, so how does this work? Three, if three was here, it would go with one or two, which would be fine for the eight, nine. I'm not sure. And three is over here, it's the same. I'm definitely missing something. I feel this is important. Because it's got a maximum of seven but its minimum is still three.
because if this is eight nine, this could be one two, I think. Huh. It's definitely one of those ones where... So these are purple. These are definitely purple because whatever this is, this has to be the opposite color. Because if this is 1, 2, this can't also be 1, 2. So these are purple. And that connects to that and that connects to that. So these are both green because they connect in both ways. So this is purple. This is green. This is purple. That connects to both of those which become green and this becomes purple. So these are either a 1-2 pair or an 8-9 pair. These are either a 1-2 pair or an 8-9 pair. Same here. This is either a 1-2 pair or an 8-9 pair. Can I force like this to be the three? Like, could this be one, two, eight, nine? I don't see why not. There's something I am missing. So. Got to do with these, it has to. Like one of these is no higher than six because I can't use eight or nine in them. So these are from three, four, five, six, or seven, sorry. But if one of them is seven, the other one has to be no higher than six. But these are restricted, actually, because this can't be one, two, it can be three, it can't be four, five, six, it could be seven. And this is the same. Can't be one, two could be three, can't be four, five, six, could be seven, can't be eight, nine. So this is three or seven. Right, and if it's three, this is one, two, this becomes eight, nine. Can that work? No. No, this can't be three. If this is three, this is one, two. But if this was one, two, then this couldn't be 1, 2 if blue is low, and this couldn't be 1, 2 if green is low. This can't be 3. This is 7. So this is not 7. And the same is almost certainly true down here. If this was 3, these would be 1, 2. But then green couldn't be low, and purple couldn't be low, which doesn't work. This is a 7. This isn't a 7 either, which means one of these is as low as 5. That's very cool. Now, what is this? It's not one, two. It could be three, can't be four, five, six, can't be seven, eight, or nine. That's a three. One, two, could be three, can't be four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. That's a three. So these are not three. There we go. I'm narrowing them down. Now, if this is seven, what is it? I could still put a one or, or n n a one or two on this, because I this could oh, hang on, no. I don't think I can. Oh, this could be a purple one two. This could be a purple one two. If that's not the purple one two, this can't be a green pur one two or a, pu a purple one two. So this can't be a one or a two. So this is at least a three but this could be a purple one or two. Because if I couldn't put a one, two on it at all, this would be a three, four arrow. I do know that three is in here somewhere. And the same, this could be a purple one, two, but I can't put a green. The fact that these are both green is very weird. 
I'm wondering if that forces anything. But... Oh. So these are... Oh, hang on. Three, four, five, six, seven. These are one, two, eight, nine. Which means these are green. Because the purple one, two, eight, nine are there. These are green. These are purple. And now I don't have one, two, eight, or nine on this at all. This is three, four. So one, two, three, four. This is five and six. Seven, eight, nine. And the same is going to be true down here. These are one, two, eight, nine. This is cool. Yo-yos. It's yo-yoing around. These are the green one, two, eight, nine. Because if this is high, these are the low one, two, eight, nine. If this is low, this is high. These are now the purple. I still don't know the order. Actually, I do. I've now got the order because of these arrows. This is cool. So this, if this was eight or nine, this would have to be a negative digit to make the four, five, six work. So green, if I select all the green, actually, I'll just select all of these green. Those are not eight, nine. And I can select all the purple and take out the one, two. So this is also three, four, and these are five, six. Now I can change green. Actually, I'm, I, if I go to color and select green, I can change them to low. I can select purple and change them to high. This is cool. So there is a seven in here, which works. So these are seven, eight, nine. These are one, two, three, and that must have a three in it. These are one, two, three. Actually, I don't need to mark that. I'm pretty much comfortable with that. This is very, very cool. I like this. These are four, five, six. These are four, five, six. Now, this being four, five, six, this can't be three or seven. So this is four, five, six, giving me a four, five, six triple in the column. Now, I can't put, yeah, three or seven in here. So this is another one, two, eight, nine but I don't have the coloring on that. Now this, oh, this is seven, eight, nine, must have a seven. I don't have the four, five, six in here, except I know there's not a four, five, six in here. So this is one, two, can't be three, can't be four, five, six, can't be seven. This is one, two, eight, nine, but again, I don't have the color. I don't have that for those. Now, if this is, this is, from one, two, three, four, five, but it can't be four, five. This is from one, two, three, because I can't use four, five, six, but it has to be lower than six. So this is one, two, three. No, that's low. This is the same. I can't use, this is one, two, three. So that's low. I'm missing a trick here. Now, if this was one, this is three. If this is two, this is three. Wait a minute, this is always three. Because if it's not, these have to sum to three and they can't do it. Because this would be two, this would be one, this would be one, this would be two, and this would sum to three. This is always three. Oh, this is cool. Let's continue my low high coloring that I completely abandoned because I'm a numpty. This dot could actually do a lot as well. Because these are four, five, six, and seven. Mm. This is so cool. And this is going to be a three as well. Because if this is a two, this is a one, and that'd have to be a three. If this is a one, this is a two, that'd have to be a three. So that is also a three. Which, of course, oh, this three looks down making that the four and that the three, which looks across saying that's not the three and that's the three. Three and four, by the way, are both low digits. I could have colored those. This three looks up making that the four and that the three three, which looks across saying that's not, not the three, and this is the three. Oh, the eight, nine pair makes that the seven and that not the seven. Do I have, the, yeah, eight, nine pair means that's seven and that's not the seven. Now, four is down here. No, four is not there at all. That's four, which is low. And these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but I must have an even digit on here. So the six is in there and not there. That six looks up making that the five and that the six, six being the high digit. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. Those are five and seven. So what are these? One, two, three, four, five, six. These are four and six. And I know the order because of this six. This is the four, six, this is the four. So that is the high digit, that is the low digit. This is either a one or a nine, I think. I No, I might be wrong about that. So I'm not going to use... Oh, this five looks down, taking five out of those. That's a six, seven. So that's a five, which means that's the six and that's the five. The six being, of course, the high digit. That five looks up, making that the seven and that the five. The seven being the high digit. These are now one, two, eight, and nine. And these are going to be the same high low but hang on no that's i've broken the puzzle no 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 one two seven eight nine is what i'm missing because if these right 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 i have to put a seven on here i think these are from one two seven eight nine but i can't put one or two on this dot no, it's actually, no, there must be an eight on here. I can't put one and two on this dot because one, two, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But if I put one on this dot, then this becomes one, two, and that's broken. So I can't put one on this dot. So now two has no consecutive value. There now must be an eight on this dot because it must have an even. That becomes the nine, that becomes the eight. These are all high. This is now not seven, eight, or nine because, well, they're just taken up. This is actually a seven, eight once this became the nine. And this is now low. Now that one, two, not sure what it's doing yet, but this is now one, two, three, four, five, one, two, nine. This is a lot of fun. I don't think I'd be, oh, there must be a five on this. There's a five on that dot. So this is not a five. Now I've still got the four, five, six, triple. Now I'm not being very efficient at this again, I feel, but I don't care because I'm having a lot of fun. Now, hang on, this can't be six because this would have to be a three. So there's no six there and the same here. There's no six here. This is actually a four, five pair. Now, I can probably do the same trick here. This is from one, two, I can't use three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I can't put one on here because I'd, I'd be one, two, and that would break that. So there's no one here. Now, two has no consecutive partner. Now, there must be an even digit. So there's an eight on here. So this becomes the nine. I take... Nine off those, those become seven, eight. Seven, eight comes out of here. The nine comes out of here. These are all high and this is low. Now, there's a seven, eight pair in this row. So there's no eight there. There's no seven there. Again, efficiency is not me. These are one, two, they can't be three, four, five, six, one, two, and nine. And now I've got a one, two, nine triple in this row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is a three, six pair, but this can't be a three. So that's a six and that's a three. That's very cool. So this is high and this is low. Seven is in one of those two. Haven't locked that down yet. Now, does that six do anything? Well, the six makes that the four, which takes four out of there. This is a five, six pair. Takes the four out of there. This six looks up making that the five, so there's no five in here. This is probably just bad scanning. Oh, I'm wondering if I've missed something on these lines, but I don't think I have. No, I don't think I have. They were the break-in. I'm not seeing anything that's jumping out at me going boo. I think it's these rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are from four, five, six, seven. 
but this can't be four, five, six. This this cell here, I'm going to hit it with a red. Can't be one, two, can't be three, can't be four, five, six, and it can't be eight, nine. That is just a seven. So this is not seven. So that makes this the eight and this the seven, which jumps across making that the eight and that the seven. Now that's not eight anymore. Eight is in one of those three, but it's not in the middle. Eight is in one of those two because of the eight, nine pair. Eight is in one of those two. This is all going to break open at some point. I just... Like four is in one of those two. Five, is that a four, five pair? Is that a four, five pair? Yeah, there's no six there. So this is four or five, but I can, can't put four or five there. This is a f four, five. So this is a four, five pair. So this is from one, two, eight, nine. So I've got four, five, sixes and one, two, eight, nines all over the shop. This seven makes this a six, which makes this a seven, both of which, by the way, are high. One, two, nine. Hang on. One, two, nine. That's an eight, which I could have got from that nine. That doesn't do much, though. One, two, eight, nines everywhere. There must be a five on this. If that's five, that's... F Hang on, there's... If... No, I, would, I was just completely wrong about what I was looking at. Now, one of these is a one and one of these is a two. I think I've got to get rid of the high-low coloring at this point because these are different. So one of these is a one and one of these is a two. So I can color them because those have to be different. So this is yellow. So if this is a two, this has to be a one because if they're the same, then these are the same digit and that doesn't work. So this is blue. This is blue. This is yellow. I'm not sure this is going to help me though. There's a blue, oh right, there's a blue in here because this is yellow, but I can't put the blue there. So that's the blue one too, and that becomes the nine. Yellow one two is in here, but I can't put yellow or blue one two there. This is the yellow one two, and this becomes the nine. This is now nine, which takes nine out of both of those and makes this the eight, which makes this the nine, which makes this the one, which makes this the two, which makes this the one, which makes this the two, takes two out of there. There's probably more stuff I've missed. This one looks like making that the two and that the eight, which makes that the nine, which makes that the one, which makes that the two. This is just stuff looking around. This becomes the one. This eight makes this nine and this eight. This eight makes this nine and this eight. This eight looks up, taking eight out of there. So this is the eight. This is a blue one, two. Oh, this nine makes this one. So blue one, two is two. So that's two. Yellow is one. I can get rid of all the coloring. That coloring was incredibly important. 
And now I've just got to resolve the four, five, sixes. But two plus three is five. One plus three is four, which makes this six and makes this five. The five takes five out of both of those. I have to have, this is even, so this has to be odd. So that becomes the five. This becomes the four, which looks over making this the six, which makes this the four. Uh, the five looks down making that the six, which makes this the five. The six looks up making that the four and that the six. And that is the correct solution. Error 404, solve counter 404. So it's the correct solution, but is it an error? Is it solution not found? Possibly. <laughs> I'm not sure how that one goes. That was an incredibly fun puzzle. I wasn't sure how I was going to wrap my head around that at the end, but the coloring of those one twos to find those nines, absolutely stunning. Wasn't expecting that at all. Um, and I'm glad I dumped my high-low coloring when I did to be able to break that one open. Thank you, Naughty, for the puzzle. Um, thank you, Naughty, for everything you do for me. I really do appreciate it. You know what I'm talking about. Um, that was a lot of fun. Um, holy cow. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just blessed with really, really good puzzles at the moment. Um, yeah, so thank you everyone for watching. Um, please remember to like and subscribe. I'm seeing a lot of viewers, views from people who aren't subscribed at the moment. So please remember to subscribe. I do try and bring content, um, good puzzle content to, to people. Um, it's weird when I see a video where the puzzle has had more solves added in the 24 hours after I release the puzzle. Um, so more solves on the puzzle than I actually have <laughs> views it's very weird um but thank you everyone for for joining in please as i said like comment um share your experiences with the puzzle um join me for free over on my patreon or um f to get community updates as I'm, I'm trying to to build that at the moment i'm working with a few people and as always good luck with your solving